some of them proprietary, some of them that are like open out there. Right, so the, res the resolution question here, I mean, you typically find these things. Uh, oh, this video is a uh, full HD 720p. Like why, right? Or 480p or 360p. Like I said, it just tells you the number of pixels. Um, and usually if you know the ratio, you can, if you know the ratio, you can determine the, the number of pixels that are going to be laid out horizontally. Because the number before the P tells you the number of vertical pixels. 720p means there's 720 pixels horizontally. And then if you're using 16 to 9 as aspect ratio, you can derive this. Do I have anything? I don't have anything. You can derive this by just saying, uh, oh, 720, um, 16 to 9, so I'll just divide, I guess. I'm going to divide 9 into this, so it's 80, right? So I'll just multiply 720 by, by 80. To, no, no, what am I doing? I'm doing something wrong here. If we have 720, and we're using a 16 to 9 aspect ratio, I'm trying to find the greatest divisor here. 720 divided by, by 9, this times 16, yeah? Um, so if I have a 720, if I, if, if I have a 720p uh, file on YouTube, I know that the corresponding number of pixels that are going to be laid out horizontally, 1,280 pixels. And then I can, I can compute the total number of pixels um, associated with that video. Do you understand this? Yes. And I hope no one is do using that using bundles. Yes, okay, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, but I'm... But yes, yeah. You're using it on your phone. And then you, you go and use it on, on your TV screen. Is the quality still going to be the same? It's the same quality. But it's still going to cover 700... It's the same quality, but the thing is, uh, you see, when you're viewing something on a much larger screen, the you want to probably use high quality because the, the, the thing is going to pixelate, right? So if you... And let's not use 720, let's use 144. P. Watching a 144p video in watching a 144p video on a phone is fine. You can get away with it. But where's 144p here? I extracted all of them. I got 14. Can anybody see 144p? I'm blind. I can't. There is 144p. Uh, let's go to a part where. Have you noticed the, what's happening here? It's yeah. It's, the, it's not, the quality is not that good, but if you were to watch the same video on your phone, you, you'd probably be able to see much clearer than you are seeing right now, right? Why? Yeah, because the screen is much smaller, right? Yeah, so in fact, that, that brings us to another discussion on the different resolutions. The different resolutions are, are there to take into account the fact that different devices are consuming the same media, right? If you are consuming the video using a computer, you probably want to download a much higher resolution. If you're using a phone, you can get away with maybe 360p, which is what I do most of the time, 280p or something. But observe, the same file, but using 4K, uh, which is, and I'll just, uh, I'll just order this by size because I know 4K is gonna be much larger, which is this. Or I'll just go to, 1080p. Notice that uh, the video is at least clearer than the 144p we are watching. Same video, but different quality. Yeah. Yeah, this is much clearer than it was before. So these are things you want to think about as you are using various types of um, resolutions associated with the video. You know, so when you're downloading these screencasts that we dump, we haven't dumped them in a while now. Ask yourself, is quality important? If it is, I mean, you can just download full HD, right? Uh, just use a free UNSA network, EduRom, download them, and then go view them offline on your phone, right? Right, I mean, so these are some of the, I guess, the factors that you might want to take into account when you want to decide uh, which sort of resolution you want to use. So bandwidth cost, like we said. If, if you bought bundles using Zamtel, right? Uh, you want to make sure that you, you, you use them carefully, right? So you, you want to consume, you want, you want to make sure there's a balance between the quality and 
and the resolution or the total size of the file because the resolution dictates the size. Uh, what I've found myself when it comes to resolution is for me, for my eyes at least, 360p is perfect for me. The quality is not that compromised, right? Sometimes when I have uh, less bundles or less money allocated to buying bundles, what I'll do is I'll dumb it down to maybe 280. It works just fine uh, because most of the video I consume, I guess I'm interested in the sound, right? So quality is not really so much of an issue. Um, Sorry? Yeah. Yes. No, they, well, they're, they're colorated, but they're not the same. Okay, the resolution dictates the quality, so yeah, you could say they're the same. Um, yeah, so you also want to take into account the, 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 the amount of time you have to download this. So if you're on a much slower network, right? If the user network is so slow, it would be dumb for you to download, to, to go and watch a video file in 720p. Why? Because it's going to take longer for you to watch the entire video. Instead, you just want to dumb it down to maybe 240p or 360p, so that it takes less time to view the video. Fewer bits are associated with low resolution video. Right? Uh, and also, I want to take into account the device being used. If you're using a computer, obviously, you probably want to watch a much higher you know, uh, quality video, a video with a higher resolution. Um, and I mean, I was just saying here, uh, I mean, reasons why you might want to use one resolution over the other. I guess for most people, it's like ignorance. They just go on YouTube, you just think, I'm, I'm gonna go on YouTube and just watch the video. And then before you know it, because the way YouTube works is sometimes it automatically, it automatically gives you a resolution based on the speed of your network. So if you're on a much faster network, you notice that you'd be watching, by default, you'd probably be watching a 720p uh, video, right? If you're on a much slower network, it would dumb it down because it knows it's a slower network and it wants to send you this uh, video in the shortest period of time, so it would dumb it down. But some people probably don't know and you're just there uh, watching in full HD, 1080, right, 1080p. And then before you know it, you're calling Airtel. What happened to my bundles? Well, I mean, the, the bundles, you, yeah, this is what happens, right? The people do that. Uh, and really, look at this. Um, is there a part where I'm, look at the sizes. Uh, full HD, a one minute, 39 second long video is 200 megabytes in size. Right, I mean, why would you want to watch, why would you want to watch this video in 4K if you have less money for bundles? I don't know how much a bundle is now, but but this is a lot of money, well, I guess. It is a lot of money, actually. Sorry? Oh, this is five quarter, right? So the question you should ask yourself is, is it worth to watch a one minute, 39 second, should I spend 13, three quarter, five quarter on a one minute, 39 second video? If you have the money, then it's fine, I guess. But yeah, yeah why, why not? Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess, it depends, right? I mean, so here's the thing. If, you, if this is part of your job, no, this is serious. If this is part of your job, right? If, if this is part of your job and you're making money by, by watching high quality videos, you might as well invest in high quality videos, right? Because maybe it's going to pay itself back somehow. But anyway, um, and, and also I thought I would link this to some of the things that we discussed a while back. You can compute how long a video is, is going to be sent to your phone, how long it's going to take for you to download the video. If you know the speed and the resolution, right? So when I was downloading these different formats, um, I kind of like showcased uh, like the speed I was working with, right? The total size of the file and how long it took. So you notice the different file formats. I don't know what this file format is. Uh, 360p took uh, eight seconds to download. Um, this is, uh, I think this is, a, this is the 4K, it took three minutes, 41 seconds to download, right? So these are things to think about anyway. 